Hello everyone and welcome to this Uni Taste Tuesday event. I'm John, I'm here from Uni Taste Days and I'll be hosting this event today. These events explore essentially two things. One, general university guidance subjects and number two, study in particular subjects at university. And, and this is one of the subject events where we're telling you more about what to expect when studying certain courses at university. And today we're going to be covering studying marketing at university. And I'm delighted to be joined by Dr Fiona Walkley, who's joining us from the University of Hull, to provide a roughly 15 minute overview to studying marketing at university, which is likely to include subjects such as why study marketing, what to expect on a marketing course, and much more. With that, very conscious with you, these events, you've not tuned in to hear from me, you've tuned in to hear from our excellent speakers. I'll pass the floor to Fiona, please. Fiona, Walkley, join us from the University of Hull. Over to you. Thanks very much, John. Uh, welcome everybody to this session. Um, I am a lecturer in marketing, um, and but prior to becoming an academic, I was also an international marketing manager. And so that's the two sort of sides that I've included into this talk today, because it's really important we keep an eye on the future. University is all about, um, you know, reaching your potential, finding your path um, to your career ahead, um, and uh, but also trying to give you support in terms of, is is this the right subject for me and what should I be looking for um, in a marketing course and there's a few um, practical um, tips and helpful hints as well um, as part of the talk um, just as to help sort of navigate this complex uh, application process okay so without further ado let's think about why should we study marketing well uh, it's the future is looking good for marketeers there's um, an increase um, of 10 percent forecast in the number of marketing positions for marketing graduates um, this is because um, there is uh, skills gaps emerging, all this um, advent of digital technologies. Um, and uh, this is meaning that there's actually uh, um, a shortage of um, positions and marketing graduates to fill those positions. Sorry, not a shortage of positions, a shortage of marketing graduates. So that's right, that's really driving up um, salaries. Uh, and it is already one of the best paid um, career pathways. So marketing managers are amongst the best paid um, in management and because the uh, most marketing positions and many companies are positioned in major cities then this means that you can literally work anywhere in the world as I mentioned previous to becoming an academic I was uh, an international marketing manager traveling across um, Asia and Africa and European um, countries and Staying ahead of trends, spotting opportunities um, uh, ahead of um, others uh, is really important. So it's a fast moving um, uh, department and, um, and, and a really dynamic sector um, to, to work in. So I always found it incredibly um, enjoyable and challenging and rewarding. So let's have a look at uh, what UCAS is telling us about uh, the main reasons that people, that students um, or applicants, how they choose their business courses such as marketing. What are the factors? Well, one of the most important factors is whether you can include work experience as part of the course and how that's included. We'll come on to have a look at how some of those work opportunities might be integrated into a marketing degree. Other important factors are accommodation um, and uh, social life um, that's available in the city, um, but also um, students and applicants are looking at what earning potential there is. So how many jobs there are, um, how many of the graduates from that particular institution um, have found um, uh, work. And these are all published and publicly available statistics that you'll be able to, to find when you're researching your course. And it's also important to look at other students' reviews. What's, what insights can you gather from um, their experiences of studying um, a particular course or studying at a particular institution. Uni Taster Days is a fantastic um, resource for information. There are other forums like um, the Student Room where you can really get some insights into people's experiences. But the most important factor, you'll see it scores most highly out of these factors, is the range of modules that are available for a particular course. And that is absolutely rightly so the most important factor. 
and so we'll come on to have a look at what kinds of modules are important as part of a marketing course. There's two different types of courses in the main. You could either go for a straight marketing degree and graduate as a single honours with this sort of specialist um, marketing um, degree or you could go for a course where we call it a joint degree. This is where 50% of the content would be marketing focused and the other 50% would be, um, would include a broad range of business management um, subjects. So you might see courses that are called business management and marketing. These are the sort of 50-50 split, or perhaps you would like to study uh, marketing and more sort of the focused on the management principles. So there's these different, even within marketing, marketing subject area, you can start to see when you're looking at different courses that there are um, different ways to study marketing, whether you want to look at it as a specialist focus, single honours or this joint degree route. Now, we were saying about that the module choices is really important. <clears throat> Let's have a look at what we mean by modules. Modules are just the different subjects that you'll be studying during the different semesters at university. During the first year, it's likely that you will be studying um, compulsory modules. There won't be that same number of options to include. Often you'll find in any business degree, and I think it's very important, whether you're studying marketing or accounting or business management, that you do get this broad range of business subjects in that first year. We all need to to really understand the basic principles of business um, and the basic principles of the different function areas of any business, so accounting and HR, human resources and um, uh, and operations and supply chain. When you're working in marketing in your graduate career, it's really important that you understand the principles and what's driving your colleagues in these different departments. When we're coming on to our second year and our final year, um, then there's a lot more options included in there. And typically for a marketing course, then we start to see modules appearing like consumer and business buyer behavior, drawing on the principles of psychology. Why, what is driving customers to make those decisions? Decisions. And how as a marketing manager, how can we influence those decisions? You'll start to see um, courses and modules, apologies, modules um, around communications. So I think often people think about marketing subject area and they're thinking about the sort of communication side of it, the advertising and um, digital uh, marketing side. And so often you'll see uh, marketing communications um, and, and branding modules on a marketing course. So how you can really build up um, a product and a communications campaign. You should be in your second year, start to be able to, to develop your course along a path that, that you find interesting. Where are your passions? One thing that we're seeing more of included in marketing courses are data-based. It's more and more important for marketeers these days and managers in business that they have a good understanding of analytics. So something like an in marketing intelligence, how do we use all of this data that's being generated across all the different platforms that we're all using, that our customers are using? How can we use that information to um, inform some of the marketing decisions that we're making um, to drive the, pro the, the, the product forward. And so um, there's modules like marketing intelligence or data science or about how do we manage big data. These are kinds of um, really important modules that employers are looking for. They want these sorts of skills um, uh, in their marketing graduates. Now, you may choose um, as part of your course to include a placement year. Let's come on to that um, next. But um, I'm, this is a structure for that final year. It says third year, but that third year could be a placement. Um, but if you went straight into the final year without a placement, some work experience, then you'd be looking much more tailored um, marketing based modules like digital marketing and social media um, or services marketing and all of the sort of strategic now we've got all that really good understanding from the 
previous two years um, and, and we're building it into how can we build marketing strategies that are going to be really successful um, for our organization. Um, you'll also be undertaking a research project. This is where you're going to be um, taking on um, a project of your choice in an area of um, theory that you've really enjoyed over your course. You'll still, you should be still supported by tutors um, while you undertake that research. And, uh, and that's a really good way to tailor, again, your experience at university into a, a specific area. If it was fashion marketing that you were particularly interested in, then that would be a really good choice of subject for that research area. Okay, so there'll be a mix of compulsory but also optional subject areas. I think what's really important, we were talking about including analytical um, uh, um, learning within our degree. Um, the other area obviously is we all have digital skills these days, all very good at social media um, and, and very practiced at that, but how can we use these tools and these platforms um, to, to, to as part of any campaign and any marketing strategy? And again, the marketing um, employers, um, the roles that are being advertised, they are looking for these digital skills. So having modules that really help you to learn and to develop those skills in a sort of commercial sense and to build them into a marketing strategy is a really good feature of any marketing degree, one that you will want to look for. Uh, employers are looking specifically for those skills. And the UK in particular, the rest of the world is looking at us because we're seen as the world's biggest internet based economy at the moment. So that's an important feature to look for in any marketing degree. OK, so you're going to be each university. I mean, especially in current times, we're all having to adapt our learning, aren't we? Um, but you'll probably have a mix of lectures, which are probably a little bit more kind of theory based. And whereas the tutor is a little bit more interactive, you'll be working on applying these theories that you've learned in the lectures and, and putting them um, uh, working on projects. Now, I think another important feature of any business degree, whether it's business or, or, or a business and manage, uh, business and marketing or, or, or marketing whole, is the the flexibility to be able to add um, options in um, or to switch into areas that you're finding really interesting and, um, and, 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 and finding a passion for. So look and talk to any university about what flexibility they can offer. Can you add a placement year? Can you add summer schools? Uh, these are all really, really good questions to be asking as you're starting to explore the different courses that are available. Available. And also, could you add in, if you haven't already chosen right at the start, could you add in a placement year? Placements um, um, are where you can spend um, a, a year of your course working for a company um, uh, and you would get paid for that role and you'll be doing um, some academic work uh, in terms of assignments and you should have the support of tutors throughout that. The uh, employers look really, graduate employers look um, really keenly on uh, people with work experience, on graduates with work experience. And we also notice as lecturers that students who've taken that placement year lot more focused they've had those insights from um, that, that that year in industry um, and uh, really driven in that final year and often their grades um, um, increase um, during that year they've, they've developed some really good time management skills and organization skills during their time in industry so uh, having the choice to be able to include a placement is very important uh, and something that you should be looking out for study abroad you know this is a, a, a good global world, even um, during current times where it's not so easy to travel, we're still conducting business globally um, and in international markets. So being able to include a year of study um, or even a semester of study or um, um, abroad at a partner organisation looks really good on your CV when you are applying for the graduate positions. And you're going to be experiencing new cultures and 
and uh, meeting new friends that you'll that you'll have for life and carry with you um, uh, throughout the rest of your life so so look for those opportunities to include some kind of study abroad into your course too that's a a, a real bonus and something that could really make your experience um, of university um, um, great an example um, of, of one of our students, um, then he um, will really manage to, 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 to put into his course as many opportunities as he could. So he, he went to a summer school um, over in Stockholm um, and, um, and took a placement um, and, uh, and now he's working at Red Bull in Austria. So some uh, really nice experience there. Now what you'll be noticing when you're looking at the different courses, the different marketing courses, then they often look quite similar uh, in terms of the modules that are being offered. And I think, I think you're right to think that. I think when you start to um, engage with the different universities, and it's really important if you can to attend open days, whether they're virtual or whether you can um, actually start to go onto campuses in the autumn, fingers crossed, um, then it's really worth finding out about how these courses are taught. Look for an institution where you get as many practical experiences um, as possible. So how do they build in um, placement opportunities? How do they build in um, projects into the course? Are you able to interact with businesses? Um, uh, we, you know, you're, you've got lots of uh, uh, um, assessments um, as part of each of these different modules and if they're able to make that a live project with a, li with a business partner then that's really good experience again for you to gather work experience as part of your course. Uh, you can gather your, you can um, help to enhance your um, professional skills, an example that I want to give you um, of these live projects um, would be uh, at Hull University Business School. Then as part of our first year module in marketing, we always conduct a live project. This year it was with team, uh, the Olympic Team GB. They were looking at opportunities to um, uh, enhance engagement um, with fans of the Olympic team um, in between the two Olympic periods. Um, and so so our students were set a live project by the commercial team um, of the Olympic um, uh, of the Olympic Team GB organisation, and uh, and they had to come up with a strategy to enhance engagement and present that back. Now that kind of experience looks fantastic on anybody's CV and helps you to stand out as a graduate when you're applying for those uh, graduate positions. Business and marketing is, um, the business subjects is one of the most um, popular degrees and therefore also one of the most competitive. So do look for opportunities to help to enhance your CV. Now, what are the kinds of jobs that somebody who studies marketing as a degree might look at? Well, there's the sort of brand management side of things where you're looking at all aspects, the advertising, the PR, you'll be looking after the branding and the packaging and the pricing, all of the, the whole mix. Um, uh, and, uh, and, and so you could go into sort of the branding route as a product manager. You could also work on the agency side. There are marketing agencies who provide a service to companies. So that could be as PR or through advertising or their digital campaign and so you could work with a number of clients on a specialist area like it could be uh, web content or digital advertising or, or, or social um, um, campaign sort of putting together a content plan. But because marketing is such a strategic process um, and such a strategic role, then often a lot of marketeers and marketing graduates go into that sort of business development or even sort of working freelancers in a consultancy role. Um, you may also consider working as a market research, again, offering services to companies to find those opportunities um, in the marketplace. Where is there a gap in the market that uh, the company could um, uh, explore? exploit and, um, and, and, and launch a product into. Another sort of get, 
talk, keep talking to uh, careers advisors and um, keep talking to friends, to student ambassadors, to lecturers when you visit um, open days or attend virtual open days. A lot of the advice that you'll get from the students themselves who are studying these courses is just get involved with as many opportunities as you can, whether that's internships or um, a study year abroad or a placement or summer school. All of these are really fantastic opportunities that you can build into your marketing degree. Okay. Employers are looking for marketing graduates who have a number of skills. So the certificate shows your um, ability to learn, okay? They're also looking for somebody who's going to fit into their team and is going to be able to deliver real value to their organization. So they're looking for personal and professional skills, like being able to both think uh, strategically and um, analytically, but also creatively. It's that left brain, right brain ways of thinking. Um, they're looking for people who can work in a team and who have good communication skills and can actually communicate through professional routes and reporting. And who also are able to look after their team members. So they have that emotional intelligence. There's a real package of a good marketeer. And I think what you're looking for in any marketing degree is is not just how you will be taught all of the theories, but actually how is any degree going to help you to develop all of these skills? Are you gonna get the opportunities to work in a team? Are you gonna get the opportunities to work on live projects, to think creatively when you've found a gap from your analysis and you've pulled together your marketing strategy? Um, and as we mentioned before, some being able to have these opportunities and show these um, experiences that you've had um, to an employer will enhance your employment possibilities and opportunities. So I was talking before about the fact that all of the um, figures um, for how well a student uh, graduates of a particular institution perform, um, then uh, look for those. So for instance, at home, 96% of our students are in work. Um, within six months of graduating and that's the sorts of um, uh, figures you want that's a good record okay so you want to look for just summing up now you want to look for a marketing degree make sure that there is real opportunities to work alongside businesses as part of your course whether that's as part of a placement or whether that's with live projects on the course you want these work experience embedded into your course uh, and have as many opportunities so you can enhance that cv so when you um, uh, are graduating you are business ready you're a confident graduate with lots of exciting experiences on that CV that make you stand out okay um, the uh, I mentioned before do attend these open days if you're already listening to this uni taster session and this recording then well done you you're already exploring and doing the research keep doing that that's exactly what you need to do to make sure that you get the right choice for you so uh, you can find out what it's really like attend the open days keep attending these uni taster days meet some lecturers talk to some of the students and the alumni as well these all of these opportunities to explore further are there for you there may also be opportunities to um, if you can meet or exceed the tariff to actually um, uh, be awarded scholarships merit scholarships um, from some institutions these are sorts of scholarships that Hull University offer so do explore what kind of financial reward institutions are willing to offer um, in return for your hard work on your A-levels and your BTEC qualifications. Do explore that. It's always worth having a little bit of extra cash at the start of your course. But otherwise, just keep doing what you're doing. Keep researching, keep asking questions and uh, do consider marketing. It's an exciting and dynamic and very well rewarded um, uh, area of business where there are skills shortages.